What's going on YouTube? Anime Fan 5672 back again with another video for you guys. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Okay, so today we're looking at my Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy carrying case. I guess is the right term for it. This is an official Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy carrying case by the mark on the back, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. I don't think it's licensed by Nintendo. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, this is what the front looks like. Looks really kind of cool. You got the black. Then you got the red with the gold letters and everything. Looks really nice. You got the strap right here, which is held by Velcro, which I'll show you guys here in a minute as well. So this is what the front looks like. Just a kind of a clean black with the red and gold letters. So there's that. Then we have the top. The bottom. Here's one side. And then we spin it around here. There's the other side. So then I'll show you guys the back here. Here's what the back looks like. And then right down here, we have some copyright stuff and we have the official Yu-Gi-Oh seal, which I'll get a closer shot right here. Just give me one second. I'm trying to keep it in focus as much as I possibly can. And of course my, my camera does not want to focus. See if I can get closer on it. So we have 1996 copyright. Then you have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Official License Seal. Looks really cool right there. Got Yu-Gi right there. Right there. Then you can visit www.yugioh.com. Of course, you get your parents' permission before doing that. This was made in China, as you can see right here. This is what the back looks like, as soon as my camera will focus again. So like I said, it is closed with the Velcro strap, which I will show you guys right here. You guys can also hear it. So you got your Velcro right there. Of course my camera doesn't want to focus. So there's your Velcro. And then here's your other piece of the Velcro right there. That big square right there. So then when we open this up, this is what the inside looks like. So you have pockets here, 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 on this side. And then there's some other stuff over here, which I'll get into in a minute. I'm just going to start off with here. So right here, the openings right here, we have, let me get it to come out. There we go. I have my Game Boy Advance SP right here. So I'll show you guys that in a second. Let me pop it open here. So there's that. Sorry about that. There's my Game Boy Advance SP. So I got this the original black one right there. Sorry about the glare. I'll set this off to the side. Up the way. While we make the video here. So I just put that right there. I think the original Game Boy Advance will fit in here as well because the size of the pocket and, you know, like this whole length right here. You might even be able to use this for a Nintendo DS if you can find it. I don't know how well that would close with these rings here, though. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now I have my games right here, so I'll show you guys those in a minute. I just got to get them out of here. I'm not going to take them out of the plastic. I'll just take them out of the pocket. So here we have Lizzie McGuire on the go. I made a video about this, so if you want to look at it, it's on my channel. You can go back and check that out. So we have that game. We have, if I can get a hold of it here. Here we go. We have Ed and Eddie Jawbreakers. If you don't know what Ed and Eddie is, Ed and Eddie was a Cartoon Network uh, cartoon, which I'm a big fan of. So you can check that out um, on the Cartoon Network, probably on YouTube. And you'll find clips of it online and all that kind of stuff. It's a fun cartoon. I enjoy it. So there's that. So then down here, we have Power Rangers Ninja Steel. Now I made a video about this as well, so you can check that out on my channel. So there's that one. And I'll get the next one out here. We have, get it to focus. 
We have Yu Yu Hakusho Spirit Detective, which is an anime series that was on the Cartoon Network for a good while. So there's that game. And then the last game we have in here is Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors. And I think we all know that Dragon Ball Z is an anime series. If you don't, you definitely should check it out. So I'm going to take the games. I'm going to set them off to the side so we can continue on with the video here. Just give me one quick second. Sorry about that. Just going to set them so they don't get knocked down or whatever. So like I said, you have the big pocket here. The mesh pocket right here. Like I said, you might be able to fit a Nintendo DS in there, but I'm going to, you know, if you with the rings here, but I don't know. That's something you could try if you happen to find this somewhere. And then you have a smaller pocket here and a smaller pocket right here. And then right here, there's a little pocket. Or, well, it's a big pocket, but it's just kind of a pain to get into. Give me one second here. I have all my instruction manuals in there. Now this pocket, I'm just going to stand this back up. As you can see, it's right here. And it goes the length of the deal, but it's and it goes so far back. Like you can put like extra paper in there or instruction manuals. Just a lot of stuff in there. A lot of stuff you want to have that's flat. So like... I kept my instruction manuals in there. So here we have Lizzie McGuire on the go instruction manual. Power Rangers Ninja Storm instruction manual. Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors instruction manual. Yu Yu Hakusho the Spirit Detective uh, instruction manual. And Ed and Eddie Jawbreakers instruction manual. I decided to just carry them in there in case I ever wanted to look something up or if I forgot what buttons does what, I have the instruction manual there with me. So I'm going to set them off to the side. So then we have this piece of plastic here, which I feel like it's kind of like, so it's like a, um, oh, what do you call it? Is it a pencil board in Japan? They, they have them with like anime characters and stuff on them because... You turn this, and this is a big piece of plastic, but it also protects your paper. So they gave you a bunch of paper here. I mean, you have the you know the last piece is a piece of cardboard, of course. So I'll just do this. So you have your piece of cardboard here, and then they give you a bunch of paper, and that way you can take notes on like how to beat a boss, or if there's a game code or a password or something, you can write it down. And I feel like they put this in, you know, like I said, this big piece of plastic here. I feel like they did that so that way you could also write on this side of the page as well and have something hard to write on. So they gave you some paper. And then they give you two original, or two original, two other pockets right here that are held by Velcro as well. I can get a shot of them. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus. So you can see they got the Velcro right here. Here's more Velcro. So you got your pocket right here. I usually keep my um, uh, control, not controller, charger back here. So there's one pocket. And then your other pocket is right here. So there's that. The whole other pocket right there. I wish that this would have came with a pin. You know, like somewhere you could have like a pin attached on the inside. Or a place where you could keep a pin. You know, uh, having a, a separate pin. I don't know why my camera's acting up. Sorry about that. I'm hoping this comes in good. But yeah, I just wish there was a place where I could like not have to go out and... Uh, like a place where I could just like slide a pin in right here or something like that. But I kind of wish it was like attached right here where after it ran out of ink, I could uh, unattach it and like refill it with uh, pen refills or something. Have like a, a Yu-Gi-Oh theme pen or something. I thought that'd be kind of cool to have if it would include something like that. But they didn't do that. Anyway, that's just my opinion on that. But yeah, this is just a look at this Game Boy uh, carrying case. Like I said, I don't know if this will fit a Nintendo DS or not. I'm pretty sure it will. But it just worries me because of the rings. You know, when you close it. So it's like something to be aware of. You got one, two, three. 
you have four or five pockets there. Uh, well, six if you count the pocket, like, you know, the sleeve pocket back here. So I just thought this was a really cool thing. I don't remember if I got it for my birthday or Christmas. And I've had it for, oh man, it's been over six years, I think. I mean, it's been a good while. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a look at, like I said, the official Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it has the license uh, seal right back here on the back, which I'll show you one more time. If my camera will focus. There we go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Official license seal. I still think that looks really cool. I kind of I wish I had a coin like that. Maybe have like Yugi on one side and maybe like the Dark Magician on the other. Or like the Millennium Puzzle. If I remember correctly, that's what it was called. Have that on the on the other side. So like this would be head. And uh, the tails would be the Millennium Puzzle on the other side of the coin. I thought that would also be kind of cool. Anyway, that's just me rambling on. So anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed a look at this uh, Game Boy carrying case. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Favorite this video. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. You can find links to my Twitter and my Instagram. They'll be in the description down below. And I hope to see you guys here again next time. Don't forget to drop a comment. Hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Um, make sure you hit that bell and turn on notifications. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I hope to see you guys here again next time. I love you all. Until then, later.